Okay. So it's going to begin. I have decided to brave out and do a couple Halloween items. We'll see. So, I am going to do something I haven't done in a long time. I am going to try to do makeup. Yeah, makeup. Makeup. I've decided that I'm going to make myself. I'm going to try to redo my wonderful Drapes of Wrath. So I'm using a concealer first because I got circles and I got other kind of things going on. So, and I only got one eye that works, so we'll see how this works. Can I hide my bags? I don't know. Well, I'm not very good at this anymore because I haven't done it in so long. But I'll see what happens. It's Halloween. I got a better mirror. Let's see if this one. Whoa! That's a magnifier. That's a big magnifier. That helps. So, I have my Drapes of Wrath. I only wore in um, St. Louis a few years back. And we decided, huh, as we were purging costumes and we're purging all my costuming ideas and, you know, after being told I'm I'm dying. That you know, that's what all these wonderful doctors that we got to go see said. I decided well if I'm gonna die, why not die having some fun, you know? So I'm gonna just do a little bit of fun. It's nothing major, just a little bit of fun. A couple minutes or so of it. It's gonna take me longer to get ready for it, but we'll see what happens. And, uh, it's not an elaborate, not going to be elaborate or anything, but it'll help me feel better. Because after all, if I'm going to die, I should feel good about it, right? I mean, that's what these, <clears throat> we're not going to exactly call them what I should call them, because I don't really need to get completely... I'm thrown into Facebook jail, YouTube jail, whatever I'll get thrown into. But we're going to see. So I'm going to play around with what I got here. I don't have a lot because I had to throw most of my old foundations and everything away because I haven't used them in a while. But I found I had some brand new ones still in the package and they didn't have a expiration date yet, so I'm going to try this. Um, okay, the liquid one seems to have dried up. Oh, that's not too bad. We'll see. <laughs> Feels kind of weird trying to do this when I can't see much, but we'll see what happens. Right in the eye. That's what happens when you got one eye working. <clears throat> I 
Now, I don't dare make my skin too dark because last year there was this outrageous argument about costuming and what costumers can represent. And if you're white, which I'm going to be honest, I'm as white as a lily, unfortunately. Um, you can't darken your skin because it's considered racist, which on some levels I understand it, like, you know, what was done for blackface and stuff, but, um, sometimes, like, I wanted, when I did my Mama Moo Moo, I don't have a nice tan, so... I used a darker face makeup, but I try to be fully, fully, totally anti-racist and anti-Semitic. I just, you know, I just don't feel that um, people have a right to pick on other people because of their race, religion, sex. I just don't. But I also know that costuming sometimes is a form of admiration of a character, admiration of a time frame. So it's a tricky dance, it really is. And um, we haven't been around the costuming uh, air for a while because we haven't been able to travel. So I realized it was time for me to start purging any of my costuming um, supplies. But <laughs> one of the problems was, once I started seeing this stuff, I wanted to play. I wanted to play. So I've decided to play a little. Now... I'm going to admit, I don't know how well I'm giving myself coverage because I can't. I have one eye that works. That's my right eye. And I can't guarantee I'm going to have everything smooth. But, you know what? It's my costume and it's my look. So I will do it to the best of my ability. That's really all I can do. So we'll see how it goes. I have to decide what colors I want. Hmm. It's a bronzer. Well, I have beige rose. See? I got some of this, and then I have rose beige. Wait a minute. Oh, I have the same one. Apparently, that's the color I use. This is just regular face makeup. I have natural beige. See? And then I have Dazzling Sunlight Bronzer. So... I need to do some eye work. Hmm, let's see. I have a bronze. Mm, I want I want red. I have to go find my red. Excuse me. I have to find my red. You know, red lipstick is an empowerment color, especially during World War II. And women wore red to support our troops and everything. And to support our country. Oh, I got a nice red. Brand new one, too. Okay. Now. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of pale. So let's see what happens when I do this one. Oh, I need my sponges. Okay. All right. So this will be my first stage. And because I'm new at what I'm doing here, I will try to stop this. Oh. Hmm. Okay. 
look at that hair. Anyway, now I'm going to try something. I haven't done this in eons and eons. It's called trying to brush my powder on. Like I say, this is not a heavy makeup routine. It's just going to be a minor makeup routine. Okay. Just enough to give me a little bit of poof. All right. So, I think I'm going to go with blue eyes. Yeah, I know. Not many people wear blue eyeshadow anymore, but you know what? This is my costume. I can wear what I want. That's kind of the beauty of it. Isn't it? So, I found I have some blue. But I think I'll do a little... I'll do double. I'll do the light. Oh, can't see there. I need my big... I need my big mirror here. I figure I have one eye that will be <laughs> not too bad, and the other eye will be, oh yeah, that's funny. Technically, I suppose I should have been doing a neutral, but <clears throat> I'm going to pretend I'm my mother. She loved her blue eyes shadow. She had baby blue eyes. So she loved her blue eyes shadow. Okay, this is the... If I close this eye, I don't have any sight. I'm not 100% sure what's happening, but it's, I see some color. I see some color. <laughs> hey, it's for fun. If people don't like it, I don't really care. Now, I do have... I don't know if I can do this or not. I have eyeliner. I have professional pencil... Eyeliner, eyebrow, hmm. my blue. I, I said I'm gonna do blue. I'm gonna do blue. You know. <sighs> okay, that's not gonna work. I can't get that to work. That's okay. That's all right. Not a big deal. Now, what I do need to do is because I got old lady lips. I need to kind of get my Alright. Before anybody tells me I'm doing a shitty job, I already know it. Looks more like a clown than what I wanted, but that's okay. It'll work. Because I'm trying to do a kind of a fun... Now, I have some bronzer here. Boy, did I make a mess in my bathroom. Okay, I'm going to wait on the lipstick till I'm all done. Get some bronzer here. Let's see what happens. If I can give myself some cheeks. I mean, I got cheeks. I need to down them. <laughs> Here's bronzer. Color mates. 
Oh, it is shiny. Well, I'm going to have to tell my husband to only film me from one side, apparently. Because I'm uh, not 100% sure what I got. Okay, now. Now comes... <sighs> I, you know, I put the bronzer on and I forgot to put on anything on my cheeks. Oh, well. Okay, I'm not even going to try with anything other than the tube. My great aunts, they could put their lipstick on without a mirror. They had their tubes so finely chiseled. <laughs> oh, I better give myself some color. At least it'll match. <laughs> Let's see what happens. This is how my great aunts did it. Back in the war time, and my mother did it. And considering this is basically the time frame I'm kind of looking at, I'm going to do it the same way. Give me a little bit of color. I don't know. Oh. You know what? For somebody who has been told for a month or so she's dying. Huh? I'm not totally dead yet. Okay. Now. Now it's going to be the PCS... I'm going to put on my hair. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll be back later. Okay, well, that's best. I have to get darker. I mean, this is just everyday makeup, so mm -hmm. it wasn't theater makeup or anything. No. So, this is what I put together real quick. I got to do my drapes of wrath. Whoop. See? So, I had fun. I posted a little video that this is how dead I am. And, yeah. That's me. I miss my costuming friends so much. And I miss being able to go and chat with them and be encouraged. And, ah, oh, this 2020 has been tough. I have to be honest with you. It's been tough, really tough. So I hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.